So I ended up getting everything together here to fix this water gap. So where I'll start at, I have 100 foot of this wire rope. Uh, I get it from Harbor Freight, it's fairly cheap, has a really high breaking strength. I like using it in these water gaps. I'll go to the other side of the creek there, hook it around a post tree or into the fence or something, and then come around and wrap it around this tree. And I have a 16 foot cattle panel that I'll hang from it. That'll act as a barricade to keep these bellies from going back and forth across where we don't want them to. So we got it all hooked up on this side. Like I said, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm just trying to beat this uh, next set of rain coming in. So I'll get this up across the creek, get it wrapped around that other tree and clamp it on over there. So I got the wire stretched across the creek. I got my panel here and that creek's deeper than I thought it was. I realized this morning I had a giant hole in my hip waders. So I only have them in muck boots right now. So I know I'm gonna have to get wet eventually, but I'm trying to hold off till the very end. So my idea right now is to just fish this panel across using these clips on that wire and then go in the water and lift up the old panel up and hook it onto the bottom of this one. And here's a final look of what it turned out looking like. Right about there is where they were able to just crest over top of the fence. Um, over here next to this tree is a deeper area. It's deep on the other side and there's a lot of problems going on with this water gap right now. Some of the issues that make this hard to fix is you can see that the old panel's laying on the other side there and I'm just tying into it. There's also strands of barbed wire that runs across this, strands of other wire parts of that silver gate that at one time hung across here acting as a water gap. Other things that as I've worked on it, I've pulled a bunch of debris out from the previous water gaps to kind of clean out the area, but it's still full of stuff. And you get in there and start working on stuff and you get hung up on things and it just gets annoying. And I think I'd like to move it out away from this tree in this deep pool area, somewhere where the creek's maybe not as wide and a little bit more accessible. Do I like it? No, but is it done? Yes. Uh, right now, I just need to be able to get these beldies in this back pasture again. I think it's up good enough right now to keep them out until I can come up with a more permanent solution. I've wanted to move this water gap away from this area, so then that way it'd be easier to access and work on when we need to. Right there's a main offender. She's down here checking it out, trying to see if she knows a way across it again already. So last night while I was doing my evening feeding, I went ahead and checked out the water gap to see how that was looking. We had a ton of water coming down the creek at that time. So when I came down here today to check on it, it's still holding, it's looking pretty good. I got all the beldies down here on this feeding floor, so I'm gonna turn them loose in this back pasture now. Come on, back up.
I went ahead and walked this electric fence and checked the charger here before I turned them out. Everything seemed okay. There's only one spot of branch was up against the fence, and that's because we've had a lot of rain and some high winds here recently. So I got it all cleared off, so these guys are all good to go.